Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing an overview, not a full review, just an overview of this pen. This is the Enso XS fountain pen and this is the copper finish. Now the copper finish is a limited edition of only 200 made uh, and this is a pen I bought myself and uh, I really wanted to try the the Enso, you know, XS and uh, when I saw this copper version, I knew it's exactly sort of what I wanted. Um, looking at it for me, it really reminds me of one of those like stove top coffee pot things, um, which I think is very cool being a bit of a coffee uh, fan. Um, there is the only place you get any branding on the pen. As I said, it is Enso. Enso make minimalist pens. Uh, they make high quality pens, all sort of generally machine, uh, metal machined pens. Uh, and this is a really lovely example. Sorry, my fingers are all a bit inky at the moment. I've just been playing with ink, um, the Diamine music set, if you're interested. Uh, but we're here to look at the pen anyway. So um, the pen comes very simply packaged, like a lot of Enso items, just in a simple cardboard box. I've got a, getting it from the US uh, to Australia. It did cop a bit of a beating, but the pen was in great nick on the inside. Um, it comes with a cartridge, it comes with a spare O-ring, which I'll get to in a second, and it comes with a little clip. Um, it is, as I said, this is the copper version, uh, and it is a very small pen. Like, just for size comparison, we'll sort of do that uh, now, but um, here is Alami Safari. So, like, small pen, designed to be small. Okay, um, so this pen is interesting. It caps and posts on O-rings. So there's an O-ring there, there's an O-ring there, and you cap it and post it on those O-rings and allows you to line up the facets, all that sort of stuff, um, you know, and becomes a good size when it's posted, like a very, very writable uh, size. But it is designed to be in your pocket and designed to be, um, you know, easy, ready, quick access and all that sort of stuff. It is a standard international cartridge pen and it comes with a cartridge, as I said. Uh, it, there is no converter for this pen, like there's just not room in this pen for a converter. You could probably get one of those like Kaveco squeeze ones, but I actually think cartridges are a better option. I just put the cartridge in it that came uh, with the pen. Um, and at the end of this one, I will rinse it out and I'll put whatever ink I want in it. I'll refill it with a syringe, a, a blunt syringe. And um, yeah, just keep using that cartridge. Or, uh, you know, if you desire, there are cartridges from many, many brands, Diamond, Monteverde, Pelican, you know, all have a great range of standard international cartridges that would fit in this pen. Um, so this is the copper version, it's got the black uh, clip. There are two other versions that are white, a little bit, you know, sort of more standard run. There's a black anodized aluminium and then like a plain sort of silver aluminium colored pen. And they retail a little bit cheaper. They retail for about 59 US. This one uh, retails for 69 US, which I think for a, a copper fountain pen is actually a really good deal anyway. Um, this I got with a medium nib and it, it's a, they call it a German made nib. As we can see there, like via the logo, this is a Bock nib. And I've got the medium, it's a plain plastic feed. Small nib, um, you know, number four sort of size nib. Uh, and that's okay, because it's a small pen and you don't need it, like not a lot else would fit on here and it keeps within the proportions of the pen as well. Um, so that is the rundown of the pen. It's small, it's got this little sort of conical top, little base there with the thing where it caps onto. Faceted, um, you know, it, the clip, is hard to get on the pen, which means it's also gonna be hard to get off, which is a good thing. Uh, and it's it all works, it's all sturdy, and it writes really, really well. So as I wanna show a couple of other pocket pens, just to give an idea of it. Um, this is the Kaveco Lilliput, which is an absolute favorite small pocket pen of mine. And then the Schoen Design Pocket 6. Now, here is where things get a little bit interesting. So as you can see, the Enso is a little bit longer than the Schoen Design. But the shot design is a little wider, and uh, that's because it comes with a number six nib, as opposed to I think, which is, I think it's a number four nib. So it's a big difference, and uh, you know, they both end up being good size pens when they are posted. Good size for writing, um, you know full-size sort of writing pens, and really nice, both really nice writers, both these these are with um, Bok nibs, as I said, so it's a good, good pen. 
Um, so I want to, this is a, and it's got a nice weight to it because it is copper as well. Like the aluminium ones would be a lot lighter. Um, if you want full specs, there are other reviews of these pens around um, and specs on the website and all that sort of stuff. I just wanted to really show it. Uh, and I'm now going to show it in writing. So I have my normal Clairefontaine paper here, 90 gram Clairefontaine paper, and this is the Enso XS Pocket Fountain Pen. This is a medium Bock nib. It's, it's, it's a, the black version there, which ties in nicely with the furniture of the pen, and also looks great with the copper, I think. Uh, the ink is just uh, the cartridge that came in it. Um, it's very smooth. Very smooth. It glides across the page. There's very little feedback. And uh, it lays down a really great patch of ink. It's pretty wet, actually. Like, it's a good wet writer. I'd like. I'm really looking forward to, you know, having something like... Um, you know, my favourite dye mine, Oxford Blue, or uh, some of the Robert Oster inks and things in this, because I think they will work beautifully in this pen. Um, it's just a joy to write with. It is a small pen. So you are, you know, sort of, you're getting a pen for its convenience, and that is, you know, where this pen really comes into its own. Um, I just think this is a really great version of it as well, the limited copper version. So look, there are a couple of pros and cons to a pen like this, though. Um, so, you know, the cons are, it's a small pen, but you're not buying a big pen. You buy this pen knowing it's a small pen. Um, you're not try They're not trying to make a full-size pen here. The other issue is these O-rings. Now, it does come with a spare O-ring in the packet, which is really great. Um, but I haven't found this yet. This is a relatively new pen for me still. Um, but people do mention these O-rings failing. They are something you can buy, but, you know... The fact that it posts on an O-ring means that you know it could be a it could be a screw on if needed be. Same on the threads here. Um, the O-rings just feel a little bit like an easy way of dealing with it, perhaps. Um, and of course, any any extra threading and stuff you put on a pen does add you know expense to the pen and all those sorts of things. It's extra manufacturing and all those sorts of things. But there's lots of really good things about this pen. The machining is great. Like, I've had this in my pocket for a few days. It's getting already getting some nice little marks on it, some patina and all that sort of stuff. It's a cool material. Um, the nib is great. As, as you can see in the writing sample, it writes beautifully. It's smooth. It's wet. does a great job. Uh, and the other thing great about this pen is its convenience. You know, like, for $70, US you're getting a pen that writes really well, that does everything it's supposed to do. It's rock solid. Super, super solid pen. Uh, nice weight. As I said, convenient, sits there in your pocket, ready to go whenever you need it. So this was the Enso XS uh, Pocket Fountain Pen, a new one in my collection and something I'm um, excited about having. Uh, and from a brand I actually really enjoy. Like the pens of theirs that I've used and looked at, I really, really like. They do interesting things, minimalist things, things that uh, you know are a little bit different at times. Um, so check them out because I think they're worth um, worth looking at. And so, there you go. Thank you for watching, um, and please like and subscribe and hit the notifications button. Contact me on any of my videos, or drop me an email, or contact me on any of my social media. Um, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.